guys, we're back to what we do best, and that is buying books and then having an insane amount to haul for you guys. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. We have a bunch of different boxes from different places. We're basically just gonna unbox them with you guys. We did place an order from Target when they were running their 20% off sale. So we've had these for a little bit and we've been waiting to unbox these on camera. So we're ready to unbox these and add these to our shelves. So these are our Target boxes and we're gonna start with these. Here we go. Nice little bubble wrap, keep her nice and safe. So I did get Wildfire by Hannah Grace. This is the second book in the Icebreaker series. The first book was a part of our book club. I think it was the first literal besties book club we ever read. And there was a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I personally really liked it. I know I did want to read Henry's book and I know this one is not. <laughs> this one's not Henry's book. This is Russ's book, but I also did really like his character as well. And I do remember us saying that this is like a summer camp kind of vibe. I don't I don't think I've ever read anything like that before. So it says it only takes one spark. At a party celebrating the end of the academic year, Maple Hill students Russ and Aurora have a passionate one night stand. Never one to overstay her welcome or expect much from a man, Aurora slips away before Russ even has the chance to ask her for her full name. Days later, they run into each other at their new job as summer camp counselors, hoping to escape their complicated home lives. Okay, a little family drama in there as well. Russ knows breaking the camp's strict no staff fraternizing rule will have him heading back to Maple Hills before the summer is over, but unfortunately for him, Aurora has never been very good at caring about the rules. I think it sounds fun. I know an issue for a lot of people and for myself was that the first book, Icebreaker, had a lot of unnecessary spice in it. Like spice that didn't even make sense. And I have heard a lot of people say that you don't really get all of that in this book. So that was my main issue for Icebreaker. So I think I could potentially like this one a lot more. So I'm gonna open up mine now. Oh, oh uh, they fit two in here, I forgot. So up first in this box, I have Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. This is book one in the War of Lost Hearts series. I have been talking about this author a lot this year just because her books are anticipated five-star reads for me. I've yet to actually start one of her books, but I've got a couple already. So it says, a former slave fighting for justice, a reclusive warrior who no longer believes it exists, and a dark magic that will entangle their fates. Fans of epic romantic fantasy like Sarah J Mass and Raven Kennedy will devour this tale of dark magic, passionate romance, vengeance, and redemption. It sounds good. Similar to Sarah J Mass, I know a lot of people say that this series is more of like an epic fantasy, how Throne of Glasses for Sarah J Mass, and then the Crowns of Nyaxia series is more like the Akatar one that's more like romantic. So I'm just excited to get into this author. I'm so excited to finally have this one. Also in this Target box, I finally own this first book in the series. It is Deviant King by Brina Kent, Royal Elite Book One. I have owned books two and three in this series forever, but I have haven't started reading it yet because I didn't own book one. I was waiting for Target to have the sale so that I could pick this one up and this was one of the rare times I actually had it in stock so I grabbed it. It says the villain isn't supposed to be king. I know this is a dark high school romance but it follows them years after so they kind of like grow up too. It says I have a simple plan to finish Royal Elite School and get into my dream university. One glance from the school's king blows my plan up in smoke. One glance and he suffocates my air. One glance and he issues his death sentence. Oh, That's a lot. His first words spiral my life. I will destroy you. Everything about Adian King is black. Black mind, black heart, black soul. Sign me up! Being hated by Adian King is dangerous, but being wanted by him is lethal. I am so ready to get into this series. Now that I finally own book one, I'm gonna fly through it, and hopefully I love it, because I have the next two books as well. But this is a whole like seven book series, so I'm hoping that I really enjoy it so I can keep reading this author. Next we do have some Amazon books. These are not a part of the Amazon Prime Day sales, but that is going on and it ends today. I did get The Right Move by Liz. Tom Ford is the second book in the Wind City series. The first one, I pretty much gave it a five stars. I really enjoyed it. So I am so ready to get into this one. I mean, look at this cover. Her covers are so gorgeous. And I'm really hoping she continues doing covers like this throughout the series because these just give something else, <laughs> something do. extra. So in this book, we are following Stevie's brother. And we did meet Stevie in the first book and I really loved her. And I loved her brother too. So this is going to be his romance with his girlie, but I'm not going to say who the girlie is. I just think that's a spoiler if you haven't read that first book yet and you want to. Ryan is the captain 
captain of the Chicago's NBA team. So I do like that we're moving into a different sport. And I know the third book is going to follow baseball. So this is just really fun. We're getting all the sports. We're getting all kinds of different characters. And it's just so much fun. I'm hoping I will love this one even more than the first one. So the book I got from Amazon is actually one I've already read, but I didn't own the physical copy. And it is Satan's Affair by H.T. Carlton. I read this one, I think maybe last month. And it was so good. I do think this would be a great one to actually read this month in October because it is a little bit of like a paranormal suspenseful type of romance. It's super tiny so it's really quick to read and if you want to ever read the Cat and Mouse duet by H.G. Carlton I do recommend reading this one first. That was a mistake I made. I think I just would have enjoyed this one better if I had read it first but I still really loved it. So the back says we travel the country offering terrifying haunted houses, thrilling rides, and tasty food. With every passing town I cleanse this world one execution at a time. I hide within the walls casting my judgment for those that reek of evil. Once you've been chosen, there's no escaping my henchmen. Every Halloween, Satan's Affair will come to you, but I can't promise it will be over quickly. It's so good. Everything about this book was just so fast paced. It is a little bit gory though, so check trigger warning if you need to, but I really do love our main character in this, and then I've heard we might get like a spin-off series about her later on, so definitely check this one out if you're looking for like a spooky short read for this October. We have already opened this one, but this is from Nikki. She did gift us The Naturals, which is our current Literal Besties book club book, and our last live reading sprint you guys were raving about this book so we are so excited to finally get to it i did read the inheritance games and it honestly wasn't my favorite thing ever but so many of you guys were saying you kind of felt that same way too but this is just different so i'm ready to see if i think that as well we have heard that this is a ya kind of criminal mind story so it is a mystery thriller and we have a good track record with ya mystery thrillers there's something about them just hits better than the adult ones we do kind of want to go into it a little bit blind though so I don't want to read the back but I do see that there are three other books in the series so if we do like this first one we'll definitely continue reading on. Reminder too we did already post it in Fable but right now on Book Outlet they actually have the naturals for like $4.24 so that's a great place to go and get it if you don't already own it and you guys know we do have a Book Outlet referral code in the description so if you've never bought from them before you can get five dollars off your first purchase of 25 or more but that's honestly just perfect timing because it's our current book club book and they're having them right now for a really affordable price. We're so excited to get started. Thank you again, Nikki, for gifting us these. Lastly, I have my book of the month box for this month. I, every October, think they have the best choices. I don't always love every month, but October just hits different. I ended up getting two. So the actual book that I picked for this month is The Unmaking of June Farrow by Adrienne Young. I talked about this one recently in my most anticipated books for the rest of the year. And I'm so happy they had it on book of the month. You guys know we love Adrienne Young's writing. This one says, a woman risks everything to end her family's century old curse, solve her mother's disappearance, and find love in this mesmerizing novel, romance, mystery, and a touch of the impossible, a story you will never forget. I can't wait to read it. I don't want to read anymore because I love going into books blind. But I know she will not disappoint. So this one I had to pick for like my October book. I also chose Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. This was actually another one of the October picks. This one says it was a modern gothic fantasy so I knew I had to snatch it up. I actually really liked what they had put on book of the month. This is really what sold me. Trick or treat. The new caretaker of this spooky southern gothic mansion may just have to find out the hard way. I immediately was like that's a perfect little synopsis and I instantly added it to my box but I honestly just think this would be a great read for October. I want to get more into like that gothic spooky fantasy type of book. So I just thought this was a perfect one to add to my collection. These both, I'm so excited to read. Not to plug the link again, but we do have a referral code for book of the month as well in the description and you get your first book for $5 and they've got good picks this month, you guys. So definitely check it out if you've been thinking about it, but I can't wait to add these to my shelf. So these are all the books that we got. Don't forget today is the last day for Amazon Prime Day. Not only are the books on sale, but also the Kindles are on sale as well. It wasn't too long ago that we we were not Kindle girlies. I know. And now we are always reading on our Kindle. So it's a perfect time to get one. If you're ever going to get an e-reader or a Kindle, it should be when they have like a Prime Day, a Cyber Monday, Black Friday type of deal. They always have a good discount and they always have like three months free of Kindle mm -hmm. Unlimited if you also purchase. So it's really the perfect time. So that's pretty much it for today. But we do have some really exciting videos coming out. We do have your birthday haul because your birthday did just pass. And we are going to the Arrow 
Paris tour movie. And we do have a football game that we are going to. So we're gonna be vlogging it all. It's gonna be really fun. We also have some like fall bookish reading vlogs and stuff we wanna do this month. So lots of fun things coming. Reminder to join the book club if you haven't already. That link is in the description as always. We are reading The Naturals like we said this month. So we're ready to kick off with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our book buying habits. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Have a passionate one night stands. Love that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pause. Pause. Let me fix the dust jacket. Oh, I was like, why does it look like that? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. It's a little bent. She needs a little surgery. Ooh, little butterfly. One moment. Yes. Let's say. The bookmark says, boo, it's me. A reading break. <laughs> Wait, what? Why did it take so long to read it? It says, boo, it's me, a reading break. Oh. Oh. All right, go off, I guess. For October, I want to get more into like that gothic, spooky fantasy type of book. Books. And we do have a football game that we are going to. So we're gonna be vlogging it all. It's gonna be really fun. And we're all gonna have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I burn myself. <gasps> On the cur curling iron? I used to warm up my eyelash curler with a blow dryer. So I did it with the lighter. And I had been doing it for a while, and I don't know why my put the lighter like right, like <gasps> I laid it on me. So it was still hot, and it was really fun. Like the same second I turned it off, I like laid it on my leg. Oh my god. And it hurts so bad. If you ever burn yourself, you should run it underwater as soon as it happens because it stops the burning. So it won't like burn the skin, like it won't keep going. But you know, for next time, <laughs> <laughs> you're screwed now. Uh <laughs>